Greetings everyone. On the screen is a pic of work being done in the garden and I thought that was fitting for this topic that I'm about to talk about. Work being done or the importance of work being done in our community. Now we all know our history tells us our ancestors remind us uh, of uh, days in the past and now when other persons deliberately go out of their ways to to violate us and we get that but we can't stay there we can't stay there and feel sorry for ourselves in this video i'm going to show you ways how you are violating your own self and we're going to start in the family now the, the psychology of this whole thing is so awful that even people who think that they're conscious or socially aware or some people even refer to themselves as pan um, africans they are still doing things still having conversations you know that show you that they're so indoctrinated not just religiously sp spiritually and economically but i'm going to start with one that i see with us how we let's do the household how we contribute to that narrative that shows our children they are not enough okay now you got parents moms or dads who have children in the household and as african people you know we we the black woman is the only woman who can reproduce herself and every other nation so the black woman can have a child that represents every other nation okay so because of that because of our you know great uh dna makeup you have a household with uh, children and they're all black kids with different shades but because we are so our mind is so s diseased you know you got moms or dads who prefer their light skin child or the child with the mixed hair or you know they prefer a child that looks like another race than their own kid so i got people saying this child of mine looks like a, a different nation, but I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm happy to take it. And bragging, proud that this child who would more than likely be a jacket is somebody that they are excited about. And the kids in the household hear the kind of argument and know how you think those kids who are you know, with the African features would feel when they hear their black parents, you know, celebrate uh, that one of the child is pretty or one of the child has good hair. I see that all the time. And as I said, people claim that they are proud to be black are saying these things. This is why some of these men get jackets because they're with a woman and they know it's not their baby, but because the child is light skin, they, they, the light skin one is up in your face. They're presenting them in your face, always talking about these ones. It's sickness. And so when other folks treat you terribly, I just don't understand the nonsense about, you know, always talking about prejudice as it exists with other people. And we're not looking at the prejudice within ourselves. And our households, moms loving another child. Remember, you carried these kids for nine months and you gave birth to them the same way and you nurtured them on your breast. And the one who is fair skinned, and let's put that in quotation, or light skin, that person is the one you love the most. And the funny, the irony of it, the funniest thing is. When the ones that they pamper because their light skin grow up, oftentimes these are the ones who abandon those moms, abandon those dads. It's the dark skin one who's there to, to bathe them and feed them and take care of them. So when you are in a household and you're not getting along with your mom and your dad, take a close look at who their favorite is. 
the light skin one they spend all their money on that one giving that kid all the book on their book list i've seen that you know spending money on that one buying clothes and telling the one the dark skin one oh i don't have enough money or you know you can't go to school this week and the thing is deep people people ashamed of their own children People hiding their children from other folks. But if the kid was light skin, if the kid was looking like another man's race, another man's child, they would be presenting that child before you, having the kid hidden in the background because they're ashamed of the child's dark skin, dark features. How many of you have had that experience where your own mother don't like you because you're dark skin? Because you don't have the features that she would be proud of. We have to do better. Black men, we are the worst when it comes to putting the things in the kid's mind. So even though I have a video on my channel talking about weave, you know, and seeing, saying how disgusting the, the, it was left in my house with the hair falling out and it really creeps me out. I want to make it very clear that I'm not really against fake hair per se. I used to wear braids. And the thing is, there are people who wear wig and sometimes women get older and sometimes people have a problem with their hair, you know, falling out or whatever they have to wear wig. If men feel ashamed when they lose their hair imagine how women feel so i'm not against that I, i'm against somebody coming into my household wearing somebody's hair and then possibly leaving that all over my place it creeps me out i don't like seeing my own hair on the floor so just imagine okay so i'm not trying to digress but what i'm trying to say is a lot of these girls grew up in households where they hear mom saying all kinds of negative things about their own hair it tough it you know it need protection it have edges and kids listen to these things and so before you know it you know they don't like their hair either because the mom's combing it and she's complaining the whole time she's combing the kids hair and if the kid has you know is tender-headed uh, she conked the kid in the head with the with the comb and she makes these remarks and you're not even realizing that you're doing this or you you see another person and you start saying oh their their hair is bad and they look bad and your child has the same kind of hair now let me give an example there's a lady who has these two daughters and she always said to uh the the one girl oh your hair is better than the other one and um, sometimes they refer to the kids here ahead as bumble brush. Can you imagine a mom saying that to her kid, conking her in her head as she's combing it and said, your hair is so tough or your ear is so picky picky or your hair is bad. What do you think that does to a child's self-esteem? So when you see all these ones going out here and talking about prejudice, pre prejudice or discrimination or whatever, you, you just have to turn your face the other way and just laugh, you know, because... I'd say 85% of black persons around the world are ashamed of themselves. If it's not their skin color, it's their hair, it's their physical features. And so if you are not loving yourself and bless up the ones who love themselves and nothing is wrong with you doing things to enhance your beauty, ain't nothing wrong with you putting on a wig on your head if you like, it's your personal choice. I'm just saying that while you're doing that, be careful what you're saying around your dark skinned kids that you're not putting weave in their head or wigs on their head yet. Um, I see black women bleaching their children's skin, believe it or not. And again, when it comes to personal choice, that's your prerogative. But when you're going to say, I look clean and pretty. Look at my skin, I look clean and pretty. You're saying that as a black person, if your skin is dark, you're dirty. So what do you expect the other person to be saying? It's ridiculous. Look at me, I'm clean and pretty. I look good. I was ugly. Nobody wanted me before this and that. It's just, it's sick. 
it's very very sick and we are only going to pass that on from one generation to the next so before you try to talk about people who don't like us and people who are doing bad things in the world to to affect our race think about what you are doing because when you do this you're the biggest traitor to your own race and you're the biggest enemy to your children when you continue this kind of reasoning or argument i'm not going to drag this out too much further i said what i said those who don't like it too bad but a lot of you have parents who claim that they love you and they make these remarks it's awful and they hear you talk about other people this way you speak negatively about another black person's features uh, so what do you expect anyway stay blessed everybody